Alright, hello, hello everybody, welcome back after my hour-long delightful dinner break. I had a sandwich and it was a good sandwich. I hope you all have had a fantastic day so far. We just got finished with a good solid four hours of our 100% in a disgustingly hard platformer called Celeste. And we are on to greater, maybe not greater, but definitely more immersive things in Subnautica. <laughs> Elvar Tidy Shmi, it is great to see you. How are you both doing? Um, yes, Elvar, I did. I had a sandwich. It was, there were two of them actually. And they were very good. Who are you, me? What do you mean? Sandwiches are our meal food. I had two actually. Anyway, I have some more coffee, so cheers, everybody. Tidy Shmi, too many smiles. That's right. There are never too many smiles, actually. I correct you. <laughs> Smiling is for the brave and the strong! <laughs> Hello, Steen, as well. Alright, guys. With that, let's go ahead and jump right back in to some sud Subnautica. I can't speak. Um, we just finished building our mechs, our prawn. We're upgrading all of our equipment, and it is looking absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, I tell you! Actually, while we're doing that, uh, let's go ahead and move my face over a little bit. There we go. Alright. Probably like right there. Perfect. Alright guys! Do you eat dinner or supper at night, Elvar? My grandfather calls it breakfast, dinner, and supper. But I call them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Supper, obviously. <laughs> the real question is, does he call them anything? Because I doubt Elvar talks about his meals in anything but Polish with the people he talks to. Nice to see you, Tidy Shmi. How are you doing? I'm glad to see you, man. All right, let's play. Let's do this. We're 14 hours and 30 minutes in. 29 to be exact. Uh, a little more than, a little less than 30, but you know. <laughs> it is good to see all of you. All right. Good luck. Roll my sleeves up and wait for this thing to load because it is not loading for some reason. There we go. Ironically, I speak more with foreigners than with than Polish people. So much energy! You have so much energy or I have so much energy. I definitely have so much energy. Actually, I'm on a downslope right now. We've done a, a four hour stream already. So I'm, le I'm letting the coffee carry me to the end here. More with Polish people. I can see that. I can see that. Those Twitch users, you know. They really like to talk to foreigners. Me especially. I'm a big fan of foreigners. Cool! Looks like we're loading in. I think he has coffee instead of blood. I'm not gonna argue with that. I am not gonna argue with that. I am, uh, at least 30% coffee, and this is at least 30% longer than it normally takes to load, which is strange. We're just gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the good music. Both the games we played- oh, there we go, we just started. Okay, shit, I am gonna pause it, because <laughs> there are so many bone sharks around us right now, we are about to die. We just died towards the end of our stream yesterday. Um, and we are gonna try and not make that mistake again. Which means we're about to get in our, uh... Seamoth and get the hell out of this area. P preferably without running into anything that's gonna kill us. Alright, we're leaving! And we're gonna stay away from all of these monsters. We're gonna turn our lights off, and we're not gonna look anywhere. These things, these things killed me yesterday. We are almost to the point where we can be begin building our Cyclops, which is a larger submarine vessel. Um, yeah, so that wreck over there that we were just next to, it just so happens to be a Cyclops, I'm pretty sure. What's that game? I don't think you have ever streamed that one before. What game? And you were ca you said Kappa, but... I, uh, wow, that fish did like 20% of my health, what the shit? 
Oh, Celeste? Elvar, I'm sure you're commenting on something I said literally five minutes ago. And I'm sure that I have completely forgotten what I said. No, this one you're playing right now. You're right, I've never played this. this I am brand new to this game. Brand new. This game has something to do with moons. Something along those lines. Maybe water. This game is fantastic. I love this game so far. I'm just double checking in this thing to make sure we have everything. We are gonna go try and craft some more health packs before going into that area. And then we're also gonna go, so we're gonna go back there. And then we're gonna go, gonna go to the proposed Degasi habitat. What's it about? It is about crash landing on an alien planet that is that has a mostly aquatic surface. Um, and you have to survive underwater while also being attacked by alien creatures, some of which are sentient and some of which are not. And on top of that, you get sick. Very, very sick. Oh, let's go actually dock this thing. Ah! Welcome aboard, Captain. Surviving on a planet with absolutely zero water. That's correct. That is 100% correct. All right, let's grab our water, ironically. Um, and let's stockpile our valuable goods here. Um, diamond, lithium, and ruby all go in this container. Oh, it's a full container. What the hell? Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. We'll put our basic stuff like quartz. Or that's, that is copper. Okay. Oh, we need more copper. I forgot about that. Hmm. Lead and salt go in here. Why does Triangle speak lies that I do not ma that do not match the truth that Steen speaks? It's because I am a fool. That is why. Whoa! This blood vine is growing to be huge. What the shit? Wow, that's so cool. Let's plant two more blood vines. All right. That is a great question. That is a good question. Okay, so we're gonna find some more copper ore as soon as we can here. Um, there's also one more modification. We don't have a Cyclops yet, I keep forgetting that. Um, oh, we wanna make the Mark III. And to do that, we need Plasteel. Wait, do we have the Mark III? I think we actually might have the Mark III. Let me double check. Oh, we do have the Mark III. Okay, just kidding. Ah. Let's go ahead and grab our batteries. Um, and let's see if we have any empty ones. We don't have any empty ones. Interesting. Elvar, what have you been up to, my friend? Are you playing Noir? Noir? Once again? Oh, let's listen to our radio. Oh, we don't have anything on our radio. So there is only one location left to go except to scan the Cyclops, and I do want to scan the Cyclops at some point. Oh, let's go ahead and make a whole reinforcement thing. And if we can, let's make more torpedoes. Where are our torpedoes? Seamoth sonar. That's pretty cool. Perimeter defense system generates a localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. That is cool as shit, I want that. You played a bit of Stardew Valley. I have not played Stardew Valley in so long. How is that game these days? Gas torpedoes, vortex torpedoes. Localized gravity distortion. Load into a vehicle bay torpedo. All right, let's make some of both of these. That sounds like a great plan. And we have no titanium. Okay. There's something we are gonna use these diamonds for. And I don't remember what it was. Genuinely don't. Huh. Oh! Oh, I know what we should do. Let's make a reinforced suit. Let's go ahead and do that. That sounds like a great plan. Thank you for reminding me, chat. Even though you didn't remind me. Reinforced dive suit. Synthetic fibers, diamond, and titanium. Okay, I think we should be able to make this, actually. Let's see what synthetic fibers... Benzene. Three blood oil. Okay, let's go make some benzene. Let's 
Same! I have been waiting for that since about 500,000 BC. That is so long ago, Elvar. So long ago. Um, I did not know you were that old. I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. Yeah, do you have any idea when it's gonna be out? Out of curiosity? Let's see if we have any fiber mesh. We do have fiber mesh, how convenient. How convenient. All right. Now we need diamond and titanium. We have just enough titanium, uh, and we have plenty of diamond as well. I think we actually might need one more diamond. I think this is gonna help out humongously. Yes, nice, this is amazing. This is gonna help our defense quite a lot. Physical protection, enhanced survival in extreme environments. It also might help us not die uh, when we go deep, deep underwater, like into the thermal vents. That would be amazing. My current body is 4,000 years old. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's put these radiation gloves up. We don't really need those anymore. And we'll only carry two batteries. Oh my god, that water machine turned on and actually scared the shit out of me. I thought something was swimming in here. Also, there are peepers swimming inside of my little moon pool. Look at it. I could just pick him up right here and cook him and eat him. He's so pretty. Ha! Oh my god, that's hilarious. He's just, just swimming around. He is peeping on me. Which is, I must say, quite reprehensible. Should be some space, perfect. Go ahead and eat some of these. Cap our health off. And then um, finish replanting this. Uh, I wonder if we can eat these. We cannot. Hmm. I want to drop these off in the ocean in a bit. I wonder if we can overcap our food with a Chinese potato. We cannot. All right, so now the next step in our master plan. Uh, we want to make a whole reinforcement for our Seamoth. Oh, we also want to make uh, a health kit fabricator down here. That would be really great. Uh, that's not in this though. I spilled milk on my pajamas? Elvar, dial your country emergency code. It is probably not 911 because that is the US one, but I recommend immediate help. Uh, that sounds like a disastrous situation. I, I am sending help right now from the US. All right, where, oh, we want to, oh, we wanted to make a power cell charger at some point. Um, we also want to make fiber mesh computer chip and silver ore and titanium. Calls 420. That does seem like the correct number. It does. What is this? That doesn't heal us, okay. Um, we're gonna go search out all of the ores in our generalized area. All right, let's go do this. So as soon as it finds them, it should pop up with a, yeah, like this, just like this. A uh, little dot on our screen. The problem is there, yeah, oh, there we go, okay. The scanning commences, G, hello! What's up, my friend, welcome back. This thing is so damn useful. It says my line is not high enough. Maybe because it's only milk, but milk can be extremely dangerous, even acidic, if you mix it with acid. Oh, we need to make sure we make more missiles as well. 
which means picking up some of these gas pods because we want to make gas missiles. When I say missiles, I mean torpedoes. We don't need we don't need missiles. We have nothing that can launch a missile. It's 3.2% milk. It's making me die. You know, I stopped drinking milk a while ago. I think I might be vaguely lactose intolerant, and it didn't seem to uh, go particularly well with my stomach. All right, we're getting tons of copper from this, which is really good. We need some. 2% fat, or whatever it's called. Yeah, 3.2% fat, and all of the rest of it is pure acid. Hydrochloric acid, to be specific. Ah, uh, air bubbles! Ah, there we go. We got one. We got one. That'll be enough. At some point, we're gonna have to buy our own aquarium. Alright, we have a good amount of room left. This is working well. I'm dying! <laughs> I like Doritos. I'm gonna have to buy myself some Doritos at some point, G. Thank you for the intelligent suggestion. And I appreciate that you coupled it with some nice polite tentacles though i must say it's very unlike you to spam tentacles in chat i don't think i've ever seen you do that before. something just growled at me that seems rude we're gonna have to go revisit the bone shark territory at some point it is becoming night we're getting a decent amount of titanium as well which is pretty nice Help me instead of swimming! But if I stop swimming, I'll die, Elvar. Would you prefer I died to helping you? That seems awfully self-centered. Oh. Ah, nope, that's a no-go. I don't want that. The moon is stunning tonight, chat. It's stunning. That and the giant radioactive nuclear bomb of a ship that's right over there. That's pretty stunning as well. Oh, we are full. If I die, I can't cheer or resub anymore. That's true. I'm on my way. You have tapped into my selloutness, and it has overwhelmed me completely. <laughs> I will be there as soon as possible. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh my god. This peeper is a magical flying peeper. Look at it. It's magical. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Look at it. It can fly. It's a flying peeper. Oh god, there it went back. I was very scared of it for a second. Take the demilker with you. <laughs> I've grabbed a, a demilker, don't worry. Hmm. Lithium and diamond. We need four diamond for a whole reinforcement. Dang. Unpowered. What the shit? That is unacceptable. Warning. Emergency power only. Power restored. All primary systems online. Alright, we turned our scanner off, which will allow us to have some more power. There we go. Hey, look at our uh, little arcade toy. It's so cute. Brings a demilker and some pretty ladies. I don't know a lot of pretty, I only know one pretty lady. They had to be nice and smart too. Unpowered? Reprehensible. All right, we'll just go, no, we can't use our fabricator up there. We do need to make some torpedoes though for our, our nice boat thing. These thermal generators are barely keeping up with our night energy. Okay, well let's store uh, our goods. Oh, none of it, none of it's power, that's right. Okay. 
We'll put our titanium right here. Where it belongs. Um, oh, this is our secondary basic drawer. That's right. Okay. And then we'll put our gold and valuable. We have to wait until the morn. Until the morn. Uh, to get more power. Um, until then, let's go pick up some gas pods from these weird cow things. If you own only one pretty lady, then meet more and bring them to me. <laughs> okay. I will do it. I'll work on it. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll work on it. Cow. There we go. Thank you. That'll be enough for four torpedoes of that variety. It should be enough. Um, soon it will be daytime. We also want to work on reinforcing our hull some more. Lithium and three titanium. Okay, let's go get some scrap metal real quick. While the day is still young. Do or do not, there is no try. All right, Yoda Senpai. I had no idea. This whole time I thought there was try. Uh, we don't really need, we don't really need sulfur right now. We do need scrap metal, however. This thing is not going very fast. It just feels slow for some reason. Ah, more copper. I will take some more copper. Ah, more copper. I will take some more copper. Yoda said that. That's what I said. Didn't I say Yoda Senpai? And then Obi-Wan said, only a Sith deals in absolutes. That is funny, actually. The, the irony in that is true, young Padawan. Ah, silver. Good. That is actually the other thing we needed. Please stop trying to gnaw at me. That is ironic! Yoda is a co-worker in evil. Yes. I've always known. I've always known that to be the truth. Let's get some titanium from this, this here piece. A co-worker in evil. He betrayed us all in dying. It's true, it's true. Bury the boy, bury the boy. All right. So, our next, we have two missions right now. One is to go to the Degrassi hideout underwater. And the other one uh, is to finish building the Cyclops. It's something we really need to do. A co-worker in evil. Unlimited power! Is that what you have, or is that what Yoda has? Alright. 